most artists find that the journey of an artist is a really treacherous and curvy road. Was there a particular part of your work as an actor and a comedic actor, et cetera, that uh, inspired the book? Well, you know, there's a central story that happened to me that as I tell it more and more, I realized that it had a really profound impact on me. And that was my first break on Broadway. There's a chapter in the book called I Bombed on Broadway. And I was offered a, a role on Broadway. I was a really struggling actor doing theater. I wasn't doing any TV or film. I was broke. I was driving a moving van. I had a moving company. I was a man with a van in New York. And um, I got offered this role on Broadway, which was cool. And uh, I was terrible. And I sucked. Uh, I was so under pressure for the role that I was really in my head and really locked as an actor and um, uh, kind of doubting myself. And I kind of pre-planned how I was going to do every line in my head. And all of the acting training that I had gotten in New York City and at NYU was just completely thrown out the window. And I was just insecure and just really tight with anxiety and, and nervousness wanting to people please. Maybe some of you have had a similar experience. But I was terrible in the role. And after I finished the play, to bad reviews, um, I really had a transformation happen. I went through hell doing it. I was crying at night. I kind of rediscovered faith and religion. I was praying on my knees. Sometimes, sometimes there's literally you're in a situation where there's just nothing to be done except get on your knees at 3 a.m. and just say prayers and hope that someone is listening, right? Anybody, anybody. Yeah. So I was saying a lot of prayers, crying at night. My wife was going to grad school in Iowa at the time, and I was on the phone with her, and I, I went through hell on this. And then at the end of the play, I fired my agents, and who were terrible, and I said, you know, screw it. I'm never going to do this again. I'm never going to act like this again. I'm never going to be so full of this anxious, people-pleasing energy um, that is going to make me some, something that I'm not. This is who I am. I have to embrace who I am and bring that to the table. And, you know, may, I buy my clothes at thrift stores, and I have nerdy glasses. Someone was like, woo! Um, Yay for thrift stores! Thrift stores, woo! And, uh, you know, I'm an oddball. I was on the chess team, and uh, this is... This is who I am, and I have to embrace that. And it really shifted who I was as an actor after that. I just approached roles differently and getting work differently. And, uh, and, I, and now, looking back on it, I realize that there never would have been a Dwight Schrute um, if I hadn't gone through that hell of bombing on Broadway and failing in that role. Um, if I hadn't gone through that, that test, I wouldn't have found the inner strength to say, F it. I'm not going to swear here. Um, I wouldn't have found that inner strength that, and that transformation to come out on the other side. So sometimes it is our worst experiences that kind of forge us on the anvil of life and lead us to kind of our great, our more greater achievements. And I think there was a great spiritual lesson just in that. There's, there's more in the book than that, but that was a really important uh, and seminal experience for me.